sold 382,500 vehicles in June, a new high for this year. It's certainly not at the highs they had last year, but still very good sales numbers. However, interestingly, a growing percentage of BYD's vehicles are fully electric. Hybrid sales fell by nearly 12%. Plug-in hybrid sales fell. And EV sales grew by nearly 43%. The most popular cars from BYD are now EVs. The Seagull and the SEAL vehicles are skyrocketing. All right, all right, all right, my friends. Here are the EV sales from China. All the... Well, the brands that have reported so far, BYD, Xpeng, Zika, Leap Motor. Let's go through them all. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. Very interesting numbers here because BYD's plug-in hybrid sales have gone down significantly by 12%. But their EV sales have gone up by 44%. I thought BYD's plug-in hybrids were all the rage, guys, all the rage. Well, turns out not the case. BYD sales, though, have done pretty well, but I'll get to those in just a minute. First of all, NEO delivered 24,925 cars in June, which was its second highest sales figure on record. That includes the Onvo sub-brand and the Firefly brand. So Firefly is NEO's hatchback. I don't understand the obsession with creating new brands with these, some of these Chinese car companies. I don't think it's, um, I don't think it's really uh, makes sense. But anyway, NEO, they uh, had a year-on-year -year increase in sales of 17.5% versus last year. And like I said, the new Firefly hatchback has gone on sale. NEO delivered 3,932. So let's just say 4,000 of the Firefly vehicles in the month of June. Interestingly though, uh, Onvo sales, they're about even with the last few months, but... Neo brand sales actually were down, I believe, down in fact by 32%. So the actual Neo brand down 32%. Uh, yeah, not, not a great result for that. Obviously, though, because of Firefly and Onvo, they delivered 25,000. Leordo, they delivered 36,280 cars in June. That was a decline of 24% year over year. Uh, Lee Auto primarily sells plug-in hybrids, but they do have an electric MPV, which is actually really good. And they have a new electric SUV that's about to go on sale within the next few months, which also looks pretty good too. Zika. The Zika Group have done actually really good sales numbers, 43,000. But Zika brand sales have been a little more disappointing. Zika as a group delivered 43,000 vehicles in June, a decrease of 7.6% from the 46,500 vehicles delivered in May. It's still not bad, but unfortunately, Zika brand had a year-on-year -year decrease of 17%. So yes, yeah, the Zika brand numbers for the month of June versus last year. That's kind of surprising to me. I'm a huge fan of Zika vehicles. Uh, you know, does anyone know what are your thoughts on why this might be happening? I know the Xiaomi is certainly out there getting sales from everyone, so is BYD, but yeah, it's just surprising to see this. Xpeng, Xpeng sales numbers were great for them. Another good month, another record month for Xpeng. They delivered 34,611 cars, which was growth of 224%. 224% versus the same month last year. Looking at these numbers here, guys, Xpeng quarter, quarterly deliveries, you can see, the last three quarters for Xpeng were all records. And also, in addition to that, for eight months in a row, Xpeng have sold more than 30,000 cars. For eight months, eight consecutive months, Xpeng have sold more than 30,000 cars in a row. This means that Xpeng actually delivered 197,000 vehicles in the first half of 2025, exceeding its total deliveries for the entire year of 2024. I mean, Xpeng delivered 190,000 vehicles, right, last year, for the entire year. The first six months of this year, they delivered 7,000 more than that. Uh, yeah, that's that's an amazing, amazing result from Xpeng. So great to see. Great to see because I own an Xpeng car, right? Just makes you feel better about your purchasing decision, weirdly. Leap Motor, they delivered a record 48,000 cars. Leap Motor, that's a year-on-year -year increase of 155%. Uh, 
In fact, this year, Leap Motor have delivered 221,600 cars. Huge, huge sales numbers here, right? Leap Motor's monthly delivery sales, though, if you compare June to June last year, were up by 138%. So Leap Motor and Xpeng, probably the two cars growing the fastest right, the two car brands, I should say, growing the fastest right now in China. Xiaomi, Xiaomi a bit weird. I don't know why, but the numbers are sort of weird. They say they delivered more than 25,000 cars, but could have been 2.5 million or 25,000. I don't know. No, it's not really. It's it's going to be something over something close to 25,000. So that's a good now good sales month for Xiaomi. They don't yet deliver the Xiaomi the new ver the new U7. That received 200,000 firm orders within three minutes and now has more than 300,000 orders. But in terms of actual delivery numbers, that's the big challenge, actually getting the cars into customers' hands. So what are we going to see this time next year for Xiaomi? I mean, I'm going to guess they'll double their sales numbers at least to 50,000 or more per month. That's going to be huge. I mean, other car brands in China will have to do stuff. They'll have to do what Tesla just did, right? Tesla, a couple of days after Xiaomi's launch, They've just got an upgrade of the range of their EVs, the Model Y and the Model 3 by 5%, and improved power by about 100 horsepower. Massive differences from Tesla. Tesla had to respond, and they did. Uh, other car companies will do the same thing. So this kind of uh, level of launch from Xiaomi, the success of this launch, is going to put big pressure on other car brands to provide, you know, obviously competitive prices, but not just competitive prices, but really, really good products. But this is really the worst, the worst, the worst thing for this situation happening is not for the other EV brands, it's actually for the legacy automakers who their products are just nowhere near this level. They're mostly selling internal combustion cars, which suck in comparison to EVs, and they suck even worse in comparison to these new EVs that have been coming out recently. So all good news as far as I'm concerned for the EV market. Well, certainly these EV brands that are absolutely smashing it. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Bye-bye. China has broken more EV records. EV sales globally have hit 7.2 million in 2025 already. Now remember, last year was only 10 million. So EV sales have grown spectacularly so far this year. Hello, my friends. Great to have you with us. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. For those of you interested, I have just posted an interview with the CEO of Rethink X, now Navigate X. We're talking about the team behind Tony Sieber. We're talking about the guy who has helped Tony Sieber form many of his ideas and his predictions. I interviewed him on robots, on the future, on what's going to happen to all of us, how the world is going to be completely changed. And that interview is in the members section on the channel. So if you click on the link in the description, you can become a member and that does help me support the channel.